all y'all gonna do is sit back here and say it's hot no Welcome back to another episode of the Alabama Bee Girls and Dad. We've got a lot to get done today, and we're probably going to sw split this up into two videos, one for this week, one for next, because we've got so much to get done, and it's supposed to rain all week, so we won't have a real good chance of filming anything this week. So, starting off, we're going to be planting our Roma 2 beans and then we're gonna skip over a few rows and get our tomatoes and peppers in and uh, then we're gonna try to heal our potatoes as well but I got to do a little welding and I'm gonna try to till up our garden again before we get to that so y'all come along and join us in the fun So first thing we're doing this morning is we're going to lay out all of our rows using spray paint and that way I don't have anything I have to run over with the tractor and uh, I can make my rows using the spray paint and just aim down the center line of the tractor at the other end. First, I'm going to go ahead and till up the entire garden, and that way I've got all of the, the weeds turned in, and uh, we'll tarp what's left that we don't plant today, but we'll have all of the weeds that are currently growing turned in and try to kill them off with the tarp later on.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and make our furls with our middle buster. It's a little wide, but it'll work for what we're trying to do here. I'm just trying to make a main furl to put the drip tape into because our soil is just so hard to manually push the wheel hoe through trying to set the drip tape uh, without having some sort of piece of machinery to do it. So I'm gonna use the tractor here and we're gonna make the furrows and I'm gonna set the furrow right on the orange paint that we put on the ground before I started. So here's my poor man's drip tape system. Uh, poor man's drip tape laying system, I should say. I'm gonna go ahead and put my row start on. Get it pushed down there. Lock that down. See, here's the furl that I made with my tractor earlier. I'm going to pull this down to the end and then I'm going to take a uh, landscaping or a spike and put around this staple, landscaping staple, and put around this to hold it in place while I start seating the rest of this in and uh, covering it up. Alright, so now I'm going to get my rake and start covering it up. And I'll cut it off here in a few minutes when I get most of it covered. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take and cut the uh, rip tape and put the row closer on. Now I'm going to go back and uh, finish covering it up. Now I'm going to be using our Earthway planter that we've had for a couple of years. Uh, I know Hoss makes one, but uh, this is what I got and it works fairly well. So here we go. Just 
see our uh, these are our Roma two bush beans, a pound of them. Uh, so. So this is my first year trying to use the drip tape system and uh valuable lesson that i've learned already is uh it's got to go in whenever you're putting in your seeds because our ground is not workable otherwise once it gets rained on uh, i mean i've done all this tilling and everything but where my row for my okra is i'm gonna have to come back and put in the drip tape probably run the tiller over it again to bust it back up when i get ready to uh, put that in so but since i've already got this one row of drip tape in i'm gonna have to plant everything plant this row of beans by hand i'm gonna go ahead and put in both rows of our beans instead of succession planting them because these beans will continue to put on throughout the year so once they start blooming so let's uh let me get my seeds and uh, go the old fashioned route of hand planting.
So there we have it. We've got our uh, drip tape put in in this nice, wonderful Alabama clay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a row of corn put in and uh, then we'll get the main line hooked up and hopefully at that point we can put some water on it figure out where our emitters are and get our uh, tomatoes and peppers planted today so Thanks for coming by and watching another episode of the Alabama Bean Girls and Dad. We hope you're enjoying what we're doing. So that, and make sure that you give us a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, click the notification bell if you really like what we're doing. We're gonna try to continue it. It gets a little hard to uh, make our post on Thursday because of other obligations on Wednesday nights, uh, you know, church and everything. So we're doing the best we can to make sure that we get our post done on Thursday, but sometimes it just falls through and it's going to be Friday or maybe even Saturday before we can get it up. So, but we're trying our best to keep it on Thursday. So if we're a little late, that's the reason you hit that subscribe button and the uh, notification bell so that you know when we do post. We're still trying to make sure that we get one out every week. So, until next time, thanks again for coming by and watching the Alabama Big Girls and Dad. Y'all be safe.